What's up guys, it's Luke back here with another video today. We have the 2022 Rome Masters ATP bracket. So we'll start with the first match with Aslan Karatsev and Lloyd Harris. And Karatsev is just struggling this year. So I'm going to go with Harris. Now we have a qualifier or Chorich. I think I'm going to take a qualifier. Chorich has not been playing too well. Opelka and Vavrinka, I'm going to go with Riley. Schwartzman and Kitsmanovic. I'm actually going to go with Kitsmanovic to win that one. I think Mimir is playing very well this season. Um, Davidovic, oh, Bublik and a qualifier. I think I'm going to take Bublik on that one. And then Davidovic, Fakina, or Avashka. I'm going to go with Foki. Now we have John Isner or a qualifier. Um, I'm going to say a qualifier to win that one. Basilashvili or Evans, I'm going to go with Dan Evans. Shapo or Sonigo, both playing terrible this year. I'm going to go with Shapo. Hercatch or Goffin, both are actually not playing poorly this this uh, last few weeks, so I'm going to go with Hercatch. Brooksby over Coella, however, Brooksby has not been good on the clay, so I'm actually going to go with Coella. Kalella, Co I've never heard of him, but uh, hopefully he can do something good. Korda or Von de Zanskulp, I'm going to go with, I don't know, Von de Zanskulp is playing really well. I think whoever wins this one will beat Rude, but Korda did beat, um, Korda has beaten some good players on the dirt, so I'm going with Korda to win that one. Krajinovic or Tiafo, big foe. And then he'll play his best buddy, Rublev, in the next round. Uh, Yannick Sinner or Pedro Martinez. I'm going to go with Sinner. Dominic Team or Fonini. I'm going to go with Dominic Team to win. I think he'll get his first win on the ATP Tour. Karenno Busta or Del Bonis. I'm going to go with Karenno Busta. Khachanov or a qualifier. I think Khachanov should be able to get through that one. Grigor over a qualifier. Um, Garin over this Italian wild card. Um, three Italian wild cards in a row, but I assume that they're all gonna lose. Deminar or Bautista? I'm gonna go with Deminar to win that one. Um, Paul or Ramos Vinyas? I'm gonna go with. I think I'm gonna have to go with ARV to win that one, and then a qualifier will play Zverev. Then we got Zverev over the qualifier. And Deminar over ARV. Nori and Chilich. I'm going to go with Nori um, to win that one. Then Alcaraz to beat Garin. Alcaraz Zverev could be an interesting quarterfinal match. We'll see what happens there. Tsitsipas and Dimitrov. I'm going to go with Tsitsipas. Um, Hachanov or Karenio Busta. Karenio Busta. Team and Sinner. Sinner. And then Rublev over the big man, big foe. Korda or Rude. At Rude has been playing so poorly. I'm going to go with Korda. Her catch over Kalela. Um, I'm going to go with Dan Evans is not good on clay. And Shapo has just been not good. So, I don't know. I think, I think I'm going to go with Evans just because he's played all right this week. Nadal or a qualifier. Nadal, of course. Um, Davidovich, Fokina, or Felix. Felix played well um, in in a Madrid, but that is a bit faster playing than Rome. So I might have to go with Davidovich, Fokina, and then Ketsmanovic. Then Novak and Harris Novak and Opelka will make it to the third round. Then I got Novak over Opelka and Kitsmanovic to play his buddy Djokovic in the quarterfinal. Then Nadal and Hercatch. I think Hercatch has uh, been doing all right lately. I think he can make a quarterfinal run. Rublev to beat Sinner and Tsitsipas will have another rematch just like they did yesterday. That one should be amazing. Alcaraz over Nori. Zverev over Deminar. Final eight. Um, Alcaraz has been playing so well. I'm not sure um, 
because we're still in the semifinals of um of Madrid right now, so not exactly sure how Zverev is playing as he's had a rather easy draw um to get there, but Alcaraz is playing so well. And also a uh, shout out to me, I got three of the four semifinalists there, and I might still have the winner, Sitsi Pass over Alcaraz. Um, that's still a possibility, so um, we're on a roll here with the picks. Maybe we'll go two for two in the last two events, but moving on, Rublev and Tsitsipas. I'm going to give this one to Rublev because Tsitsipas and him played in Madrid, which conditions suit. I think they suit Tsitsipas a little more um, in Madrid with the high altitude. Rublev has not had past success there and I think the way Rublev played if he can just hold on to his second serve and crucial moments should get him through that one. Nadal over her catch pretty straightforward and Djokovic to beat Kitsmanovic. So we have Nadal Rublev Alcaraz in one semifinal, Nadal Djokovic in the other. I hate it's hard to bet against Nadal really. Um it's just such um, good on the surface. But Rublev will take down Alcaraz. I always thought that Rublev would win a clay court Masters 1000 event in the past two years as he's been playing pretty well on the surface lately and just hasn't been able to click in semifinals and finals for him. But he did beat Djokovic the other week in Belgrade, which is good for him. So uh, we're going to send Rublev to be the winner of this event. Rublev over Nadal. There it is.